So today's Monday, November 10th, 2014. I'm in East Hampton, Connecticut. And we have active spraying. And I'm going to check the map right now. I'm going to check uh, New York and Connecticut. There it is. So, the, the map's saying there's really no cloud cover over Connecticut. We can see cloud cover with our own eyes. Now I'm going to check the atmospheric conditions. NASA tells us specifically persistent contrails form when the air temperature at the altitude the aircraft at is at is at is around negative 40 degrees Celsius with the relative humidity around 70 percent. So here we have height in meters, temperature in Celsius, RELH is relative humidity. Cruise altitude is around 35,000 feet or about 10,000 meters. You can see the atmospheric conditions aren't correct for contrail formation. I mean, I can go all the way through here past 35,000 feet and conditions aren't correct. Conditions aren't correct for contrail formation at any altitude right now. Um, except for around 4,600 meters, which isn't too high. And the aircraft we just saw was much higher than that. So those lines in the sky aren't condensation trails. It's called geoengineering. And it's time to wake up, people. If you're too stupid to understand that you can't see a contrail unless the conditions are correct, then you're just living in an alternate reality. And, you know, here's the data to back it up.